G'day YouTube, it's been a while, I've been on vacation and um, I finally had the time to come back and see the damage. So this is my potato patch, before I left it was actually green and they were actually finishing. So um, this is what I want and I'm going to start digging. I'll be right back and I'll show you the results. But overall, this is what you do with your potatoes. The minute they start to brown and die off like this, this is probably a bit over. And we've had some really hot weather, about uh, 40 degrees or so, whilst I've been away. And I just really hope that the potatoes haven't cooked underground in that time. <coughs> I just... So far, so good. That's one there. <coughs> Just put my glove on properly and then we'll see what's underneath. So far, so good. So these are Dutch creams. You can see by their colour. They're pretty small because I don't really do very much. I don't water these at all. This is all on rainwater. It's the chicory. doesn't look too promising at this stage. They're probably all going to be very small in size. Unless they're like this one actually. Not too bad. So I'm going to dig away and then I'm going to show you my um, results. Hopefully not too bad. Okay so um, after some digging, really dusty by the way, I've got such sandy soil. Um, I got half a bucket of Dutch creams. These are the ones that are for eating. And I got a few more Dutch creams and these ones are the ones that I'll probably be saving for next year for seed. And um, a lot of people say um, you always have to use the, the best seed for next year. But it's not the case, the case in this instance because um, potatoes are clonal which means that it doesn't matter what part of the plant you plant, which part of the potato you plant, it's always going to be the same. Um, although, that said, if you plant a big potato like this into the ground, it's going to have a faster head start than something small like that. So the ones that I'll be planting next year are probably going to be this size. Um, they're still really good for eating, but I do prefer to keep my Dutch creams because um, you shouldn't really buy the ones from the supermarket. Although, that said, if you do have ones that sprout, have sprouted from your supermarket bags, you can plant those. Just make sure you dip it in some um, antifungal solution first, just to make sure you've killed all the bugs. Because on the commercial farms, they're not um, so fastidious with their spraying regimes compared to the ones that are for seed. Seed potatoes really do have stringent requirements to make sure that they're disease free because um, most f commercial farms will buy from their um, potato seed supplier. Um, so those were my Dutch creams uh, over here. And these are the kestrels. Strangely, when I planted them, they still had their pink eyes, but I'm not sure if it's because I left, it, left the harvest way too late. Um, but these ones don't seem to have pink eyes anymore. I'm not sure, maybe someone can answer that for me. Maybe when they harvest them, they're still in a rather green state because when I harvested these, as you can see, they were bone dry and dead. So maybe colour does change. I'm not too sure. Um, probably leave it to an expert. But I'm really looking forward to these Dutch creams. They're probably one of my favourite favorite potatoes. They're so rich. Uh, really saves on the uh, cream. These kestrels, I really like them roasted and I eat a huge amount of potatoes. Uh, but as you can see, the harvest isn't that great. I really wish that I was around uh, for the last month before the harvest because during that last month, they really do take on um, a lot of weight and, um, and they really do grow larger. And it's mostly water weight. So in that last month, just make sure your potatoes are really well uh, watered. Unfortunately for me, I, I wasn't around, so I couldn't make my neighbours water them. Um, and yeah, unfortunately, that's what the harvest is. And these were 
these were from um, four plant four plants each row. I planted four of uh, the Dutch creams and four of the kestrels and um, superficially I think that the Dutch creams have done better and I'm not too sure why. Um, probably soil, climate, I'm not going to really fuss about it because I didn't take care of these. Um, anyhow, it's been a long time since the video, I do apologise and I hope you have enjoyed it. Okay, till next time, bye.